G'day, my name's Richard Alley. I'm a senior biosecurity officer with Hunter Local Land Services up in the Upper Hunter. And today we are going to talk about removing and controlling animals in a peri-urban environment. All your little two, five and 10 acre blocks that are close to town in built up areas. Uh, we're gonna talk about cage trapping, the use of cage traps as a humane and effective way of controlling certain species. Uh, where other methods can't be used like baiting and other forms of trapping, etc. So we're here with a local landowner that lives on the outskirts of town that's been hearing foxes for a long time and has actually had some chickens get attacked in the last few days. So we're gonna go and see if we can help him. Here in the Upper Hunter, uh, we have virtually two of our main pest species that we deal with in an urban situation. Uh, one is the rabbit and two foxes. Uh, we have a little a cage trap. It, people know it as the cat or possum type cage trap and they're very effective on rabbits. It's a treadle type um, set and you put the bait or the bait material in the back here uh, and shut this. Carrots are really good and effective to attract rabbits and also loosen and lettuce and other green material. And as simple as that, you can catch rabbits in this. It's very effective. Also, when you move up to foxes, we got two types of traps that are available that you will see around. And um, they're a lot bigger for the foxes. And one is a simple hook type cage trap where you put the meat material or chicken or whatever you may use. This runs on just setting, coming in and grabbing the hook and setting it off. And then you've got a larger version of that rabbit trap and it's just a treadle trap as well, which relies on the animal setting on, standing on this pan or plate at the back. When you're dealing with foxes in an urban area, um, you've got your young foxes that are a bit easier to catch, uh, and you've got your old foxes, which are very hard. Now you're dealing with a cage trap, they're very cunning, so we've got to blend this into the environment as much as we can. We've got to blend it in, there's a chook pen, and there's a fence here, so they're two really good locations to use. Okay, so we'll make sure it's fit really tight up against the chook pen. First, nice and level, so that door comes down. Just keep checking the door that's gonna come down neat and uniform and be trapped. The first uh, process is to just cover the wire floor that's on the base of the trap, and that's to make it um, easier for that box to uh, walk into the trap. So it's virtually just using your, the material that's around and just cover the base of the trap like so until all that, you have a nice earth floor and all that's blended in. Just watch out at the end there of the trap, the entrance of the trap and make sure that's still closing properly. I've just got a piece of meat here. So put your bait material into the back and make sure it's not easy to get out. You can wire it or zip tied in there. We've also got some tuna, just some tuna that you can buy from the shopping centre and the I just drip it around and lure the fox into the trap. Just in the entrance way, crack your tin and just drip some oil in just to get that fox interested around the trap and attracted to that meat. And how we can monitor what's going on is by using one of these cameras. They're very easy to use and to set up and we'll go into it more detail at the point where you are lent the trap. So when you've captured an animal, please give us a ring at local land services office and we'll come out and help. Otherwise you can contact a local veterinarian and they can humanely uh, euthanize that animal as well. So there's a basic few tips of how to set a cage trap at your place. Uh, these cage traps are available by ringing your local council or local land services office, and we'll provide more detail on how to set them, the cameras and the traps at the point of pickup.